Uh, okay, another tune walk through from me. This is Julianne Johnson. Uh, and uh, the tuning for this is, is what's called an open D. And again, I'm lower than all of these notes just because this value sounds great too low. But anyway, this is this the fifth string should normally be F sharp, then it should be D, and then F sharp, and then it should be uh, A, and then it should be D again to finish. So F sharp is those same notes, a fourth fret on the first string should be what your fifth string is tuned to. Now I, I, I'm lower than that and I haven't put a tuner on but uh, that's approximately A. So if you tune your fourth string to that and then you fret it at the fourth and then your third string should be the same. So like that almost is. And then you fret the third string at the third should be the same and then you fret the second string at the fifth and those two strings should be the same and we've already done that fifth string and then the first string fourth fret that's, that's open D or an equivalent lower down open A or thereabouts so this is Julianne Johnson First string, second fret, and then the fourth fret. Thumb in there. And then this goes really a long way up the neck this time, so you can go. fourth fret. You can hammer on at the seventh fret if you want to. So that first phrase again. Or if you hammer on at the seventh fret. That's fine too. It's got some interesting rhythms in it and some nice chords too. Really, all I'm doing there for most of it is, is hammering on to the 
four chord. So in A, that'll be the D chord. And that's just open, fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret on the second string, and then open. Now, that, that F sharp in there isn't really a standard major car chord. Um, and I think what it is later on, I maybe put it in there. But it gives that it's like a major seventh, I think. It gives that really nice kind of spacey open feel. So uh, anyway, that's that's all I'm doing, hammering on that. head and it's quite a deep pot and it's got strings on which are really heavy gauge so it's got a wound fourth a wound third and a wound second string and they were tenor banjo strings from different sets just stuff I had lying around to be honest let's see that's a nickel wound and these ones are bronze wound um, and this is a 12 gauge on the first string and a 12 gauge on the fifth but it gives a really really lovely um, chord sounds, really nice deep voice on the notes. And so, um, you, by all means, experiment with this sort of thing. You, what the, the nut slots here? I have to be honest. This this third string nut slot is just a little bit not quite wide enough. And that dulls the note just a little bit. Otherwise, things, things are working okay. Um, and I did have the nut slots cut relatively wide on this banjo anyway. Um, but but yeah, so so don't be afraid to experiment. Uh, this is better in lower tunings. This will put a lot of tension on a neck, and I'm, this neck would be fine, I'm sure. But just in case you you crank up the tension on a set of heavy strings and. And you have problems. Um, I'm not doing that. I'm not telling you to do that. I don't want you to break your banjos. Um, but you know, do, do have a play and see what you come up with. That was Julianne Johnson, anyway. Um, that's all, and it worked mine from his lovely tuning. 